I'm in Colorado hanging out with Tromper, a pony play enthusiast and a true craftsman. Wow, these are amazing. There's something to be said for having to find your own aesthetic from the ground up as opposed to just buying it off the shelf. Which of these is your favorite? Uh, that's hard to answer, but it's actually not. Uh, this <laughs> one's currently my favorite. This is Tromper. Is part of it that you feel like the sexiest in it? Yeah, I feel the best when I'm wearing it. I've actually wired two fans into it so that that way it doesn't fog up as much and so that uh, I don't pass out. Uh, and also I have this tail. Can I try it on or this is Oh, absolutely, only? no, you can try it on. I feel good in it. I'm not surprised. Ponies like to be petted. Ponies like attention. Having a texture that invites people to touch me when I'm a pony is very important. I think that this is my favorite one. Okay. Okay. Got it. And then I'll straighten that. Is it flattering? Oh yeah, you can actually see pretty well. Like it's, it feels like it would obstruct your vision more, but it actually doesn't. Well, it's, it's a look that suits you. How long have you been into pony ply? 22 years. Uh, I was introduced to it in my late teens, uh, and it just spoke to me, and I've been uh, involved with it ever since. What do you like about it? It lets me turn off my higher brain functions, and then it's just a matter of Someone else is in charge, and I get to just relax. Just like bio horses, Tromper has a handler. Jen and Tromper have been equestrian besties for over six years now. It's easier than having a bio horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, a lot still goes into it, you know. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? I'm grooming him, which helps him get into the headspace. And is this erotic for you? Some of it is sexual, but a lot of times it's not. More, most of it's not. This is relaxing. For us, at least. It seems in some ways that this is like a traditional dominant sub relationship, but it feels more nuanced and in ways more complex. Yeah, the devil's in the details, you know, so that's why I like it from the top end to I'm a very particular person, so, you know, I get to decide a lot of details. You know, I think there are more ponies out there everywhere than people realize. And you are part of a pretty large pony play community here in Colorado, right? Uh, yes, so I am one of the founding members of the Rocky Mountain Pony Herd, the RMPH. <laughs> We have members all along the Colorado and New Mexico Front Range just going up and down the uh, Front Range of the Rockies, yes. Nailed it. Are you a show pony? He had broken a horse when he was younger, actually, so he knew what he was doing before he got into it, but I didn't have any formal training. You're a very sexy pony. Mm. People online often tell me that I look like a horse. Do you think that's true? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'd make a good pony? Mm. A show pony? <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. I think I could have got the taller one. Well, you still got it. Right? Animals love me. I think you're part of the herd. I am? Yeah. Thank you, guys. I feel so honored to be part of your pony community. I feel like, have the urge to, like, pet you guys? I don't, like, now I feel like, okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Who knew that putting on a set of hooves, throwing on a tail, and carting around an adult human could be so freeing?